Denmark, Inga, uh, 
have brought with her her wonderful Danish training of homemaking and childcare. Ten months after their marriage, God gave them twin sons whom they took as babies to the Middle East for eight years. This was when the Lebanese Christian Fellowship began to take form in Arab leadership, starting in 1965 and still exists today. Reading the daily light together in 1967, the scriptures indicated that they should arise and depart. Inga and the twins left Beirut on the last SAS plane that got out of Lebanon before the Six Day War started the next day. Bob joined them later and they returned for two more years at the University, American University of Beirut. Lisa was born shortly after the, the arrival. Subsequent ministries were in communist countries of the former Soviet Union, including Romania, the Ukraine, Russia, Kazakhstan. Stateside training also took place at the University of uh, Azusa Pacific University. Fall 2003, the Youngs ministered in Europe with lectures to the students in the University of Vienna, Austria, as well as encouraging young missionaries in campus evangelism, teaching the Word of God and encouraging others for the Lord was always at the heart of Bob's ministry. We will remember Bob for having a passion for the Lord and a desire to spread the gospel to the ends of the earth. Well, we're, uh, we're blessed with uh, many friends and speakers today that are going to share a little bit uh, about Bob. And so I'd like to introduce, uh, mention uh, three, and then we're going to uh, hear some more singing from the uh, Seabird Trio. Uh, so uh, we'll have uh, Daryl McCarthy, who has served as president of the International Institute for Christian Studies since 1998, under which Bob worked as a lecturer lecturer and academic director. Uh, we'll also have Hugh Brom. Let's see, where's Hugh? I didn't see, there it is. There's Hugh uh, Brom, former Presbyterian pastor and first person to talk to Bob about the war shortly after World War II. And also Ken Lincoln, a longtime friend who met Bob at Stanford, serving with him on InterVarsity Christian Fellowship. So if I can, I'll invite Daryl to come. First, and then the other two speakers, when Daryl's finished, you're welcome to come up. 